when we first open up Mixcraft, we're given this prompt window. Since we're building a song with loops, we're going to choose the second option, Build Loop and Beat Match Music. And let's start off by going to the Project window. Now to reiterate what we saw in an earlier tutorial, here we see the project information. We have our tempo at 120 BPMs, the key of C, and a time signature of 4-4. So let's start building our song. First, let's go to the Library tab. Here we see all the sounds, loops, instruments that come with Mixcraft. We can go over to our category and browse through all these sounds using tempo, key, mood, style, instrument, any number of different parameters. We're going to go to style, to modern rock, which you see by the number in parentheses has 57 loops in it. And here in the project details window, we see all these loops. We have the name, tempo, bars, time signature, key, etc., etc. Now we can preview any one of these sounds by simply clicking this blue arrow, which is your play preview button. Now you notice when I click that, we saw a download progress bar here under the name. If I take you a little bit to the right, you'll see under the location field, the location of that sound. It's in my C drive, program data, acoustica, mixcraft, etc, etc. Right below that, you won't see a location path. That's because this sound does not reside on my hard drive currently. If no location is listed, when you click on the preview button, Mixcraft will go and download the sound from the internet. Now if you purchased a boxed version of Mixcraft, you'll have access to all these sounds, but if you downloaded Mixcraft like I did, these sounds did not download with the program. Thus, if you want to use any of these sounds like I just did, you can go over to a category and select the sounds that you want. And all the way over to the right, you'll have a button that says Download All. This will download the sounds to your hard drive so you have access to them.